Okay, so it's uh, still February the 10th, 2019, and uh, I'm Timothy Allen, <clears throat> the Pennsylvania Natural Law Grand Tour Assembly, and this is going to be part five, and it's basically what the Tour Assembly can do for you, how the Tour Assembly is going to help you, your family, in your community. So, I had uh, written up a list and it was um, <laughs> quite extensive, so I made some notes. So, I'm going to be reading from the notes and um, we'll get moving on with this. So, basically, <clears throat> what can the General Assembly do to help you, your family, your community? We help you, we help your family. If we help you, we help the community. So remember the name of this series is public versus private. And everything that happens in the assembly is based on morality. No two ways about it. If you're not moral, don't bother coming around. I didn't say perfect. I just said moral. Okay, so understand this. Everything that we need in order to accomplish what we need to do is already done <clears throat> for us. And what I mean is we're putting everything back together, but the rules and the law is already in place. So I'm going to read through a law right now and give you a real good example. Um, well, I have a list here. Maybe I'll go through the list first. I just, it's a big list and it's not complete. Um, so let me give you a quick rundown of the things that the assembly can help you with. Um, like, uh, okay, courts, banking, um, tracking, data systems, travel, patents, land patents, water, food, chemicals. How about biohazards? How about 5G? How about GMOs? Uh, foreign troops on our land, uh, the United Nations, uh, direct Taxes, property taxes, uh, education, medical, immigration, term limits. How about uh, licensing, marriage license? What do you need them for? Birth certificates, what do you need them for? Um, mainstream media. So that's where we're going to go first. <clears throat> I'm going to bring up the uh, basic law that uh, has been on the books for many years from uh, <clears throat> I believe 1682 this was put into law and it's here in Pennsylvania so the thing is here in Pennsylvania we have a lot of things that other places don't have because we're older than the other places so what I'm going to be reading is actually from William Penn the Supreme Court in Pennsylvania back in 7, 1978 79 they they had uh, uh, some people go through and find out how many law were actually on the books from William Penn. They came up with, I think, 96 laws. <clears throat> so this is one of those things. Um, it says that scandalous and malicious reporters. Let me read that. Scandalous and malicious reporters, backbiters, defamers, journalists and spreaders of false news, <clears throat> foreign or domestic, false propaganda, polls, techniques, whether against administrators, magistrates, or public or private people, shall be accordingly severely punished. And here we have as trespass or as an assault. <clears throat> and uh, of course, negligence has nothing to do with this. These people need to be put in their place. Now, this is a 300-year-old law <clears throat> that's still in the books. Okay, this is actually, what, almost 340 years old. It's still on the books. So the reason I'm mentioning this is because the law is there. The law that we need, if you read through the original Pennsylvania Constitution of 1776, it gives you the law. Um, you know, 
and the Bill of Rights that goes with it. So we don't need here, we certainly don't need to remake the will. We need to update the will, if you will, but uh, <clears throat> not remake it. We can correct what is off, if it's off, and move on. So at any rate, um, some of the things that the General Assembly can help you with. Uh, so you have courts. Um, I don't know that I'll get through this whole thing in 15 minutes, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. So you have your basic courts. You have the Child Protective Services and um, all the different various things that would go along with that. Um, the use of habeas corpus and uh, or the problems that you might have. You, you can use a writ of quo warranto. You need to learn about those things. Um, so people get incarcerated uh, warrants. If it's not a common law grand jury warrant, then that means it probably will not apply. So um, every warrant has to have a bond. If it's not bonded, then it doesn't apply. Every warrant has to be signed by uh, a judge. And half the time you'll find uh, warrants are not even created properly. They just Oh, here I got a warrant, and they and you don't even you don't even look at it. <laughs> well, you have to look at it. Okay, so uh, what what does the General Assembly help you with? Well, we help you in training, right? Um, so a trial by jury. What's why? Why am I mentioning trial by jury? Because a trial by jury should be of your peers. It should not be of corporate people. So. It should be of your peers. It should be of people who are actually on the land jurisdiction. That's not hard to come by. But whenever they create a grand jury for a corporate process, that, that, that's not going to fly. All right. Um, the, one of the biggest things that we have is jury nullification. So what's jury nullification? Jury nullification means if the judge says uh, <clears throat> this is the law and the jury does not agree with that law, then the jury can nullify that law. And if that jury nullifies that law, it's nullified forever. Because this is a grand jury. Bills of attainder. Bills of attainder is like a citation that you get along the road. It's something that, um, that somebody gives you that uh, has no support behind it. Because this is a, a corporation giving a living man something. That's called a bill of attainder. Um, you know, searches and seizures. You know, working uh, around the bar association. Because the bar runs everything. So you have to learn how to do that. So it's the general assemblies that actually can help you in learning these things. We can't do it for you. But we can help teach. So... Uh, banking, hypothecation, retirement accounts, uh, money in general. Where, where, where does it come from and why is it made? Um, uh, fractional reserve lending. Fractional reserve lending is the death of banking. And with the General Assembly and everything back on the land the way it's supposed to be, <clears throat> all that stuff can go away. It really can go away. It's It's... It may not happen overnight, but it can go away. We don't need central banking from Europe in the United States. Why would you want that? It doesn't even make any sense. How about data systems? Can we help you with data systems? Can we help you with uh, the NSA tracking everybody and everything? The NSA is a foreign operated system of tracking it's not even in the united states per se it's foreign the fbi is foreign the cia is foreign they're all foreign to the people who are on the land um, artificial intelligence i don't have a problem with artificial intelligence this is what i have a problem with one of the things i just heard was about 5g they want to put 5G out there so that the artificial intelligence to drive a car is capable of doing that no matter where you go. 
So they want artificial intelligence driving people around and they want to use 5G, which kills people. So they want something that kills people to drive you around. Huh. So let me see. Might as well just get in a plane and drive it into the ground as to have 5G. <laughs> that's basically what they're doing. So 5G, we, uh, that's why the General Assembly's here. Because the General Assembly stands on the land, you create the grand jury, and you and you come against the um, utility commission, right? Which is operated by who? The the attorney general or the secretary of state, and they're bonded. So if they're bonded, you pull their bond and you put them out of business. There's, that's the way it works. Because if they don't want to listen to the people, you put them out of business. And if you have four or five of those people go out of business across the state, I guarantee that other people right behind them are going to be getting in line to do things properly. And that's the way it is. So artificial intelligence, that's a bunch of crap when it comes to things like 5G. Um, if you want to have robots, that's one thing. But all this other stuff, no, it's not going to work. Um, so tracking internet, your freedom of speech, Facebook, uh, you know, things like that, um, YouTube, you know, uh, those things, they need to be, there has to be a precedent set as to where we come and go with all that stuff. Uh, the right to travel, travel freely, unencumbered by statute rules or regulations, we have that. So why isn't it being uh, given to us? Because it's our right? Well, it's because the land jurisdiction is not telling the corporation what to do. How about patents? How about land patents? Um, people rent their rent their property from this corporate state. Uh, because that's what property taxes are. You're renting your property from the state. And you're paying them tithes, literally, because they are working as a church. So it's like paying tithes to a church in order to rent your own land. So you need land patents. And you need warrants. And you need, you need your trade names and trademarks, copyrights, and all those things set back in place. You need to be the landlord on your own land. There are proper ways of doing that. Your Jural Assembly can help you with that. Not every Jural Assembly is set up right now to do those things, but that's the direction that we must go in, and we can't do it without people. So, how about food and water, air and soil? You like the chemtrails? Aren't they pretty? Do you like chemtrails? You want to do something about the chemtrails? Get rid of that military that's in charge of everything. You can't do that without the General Assembly. <clears throat> you can't have you can't have what you want without the General Assembly. It doesn't matter how much you complain about it, it won't happen. <clears throat> how about food? You like that thing that Clinton did? <clears throat> you know, Bill Clinton, he the oh the great president, Clinton, yeah, he uh he passed this bill that says uh if you have more than two weeks worth of food in your house, you're hoarding. <clears throat> yeah. Did you know that? So if you have a garden and you plant a beautiful garden and you can your food for the winter, you can't keep it more than two weeks because that's hoarding. So you're going to starve for the next four months because of these assholes. And that's what they are. And you're going to let them get away with this because you're not in your general assembly because we the people have to make this change and bring this forward or you're not going to have any food you're not going to have any water you're not going to have any breathable air and your soil is going to be filled with chemicals biohazards bad frequencies all through the air 5g 4g gmos Monosodium glutamate, aspartame, glyphosate, fluorides. Do I need to go on? <clears throat> How about the foreign troops? How about the 
the NATO or the uh, United Nations? How about FEMA? How about all that foreign troops that are actually in Pennsylvania or in your state? They're stationed right down the road from you and you don't even realize it. But they're there. And what about that? Without the assembly, they're not going away. <clears throat> the Pope's not going away. The Queen's not going away. The United Nations not going away until we get the General Assemblies up and working. How about taxes? How about the direct taxes? How about the property taxes? How about free energy? How about the fact that the Queen is in charge of the Patent Office down in Washington, D.C.? Isn't that nice? The Queen is in charge through CERCO, S-E-R-C-O, look it up. The Queen is in charge of the Patent Office of the United States of America because the Navy is operated out of Britain because it's a commercial at sea commercial vessel. Come on, people. This isn't hard. Do you like the fact that the Patent Office is operated by Great Britain? That they're stealing every secret we ever have? <clears throat> well, how about our education system? Isn't that glorious? Wow. Yeah, we're being taught how to be slaves in a corporate system. And it's that same system that's teaching us everything in our children. Wow, that works. How about the medical side? How about all those drugs that you see on TV every time you turn around? How about George H. Herbert Walker Bush, the one who just died, and the laws that he created that said the FDA does not have to actually check any of the drugs that they feed you anymore. He's also the one who created GMOs. Did you know that? He's the one who allowed the GMOs and Monsanto. That was the glorious Bush legacy. So, you have the FDA not checking the drugs, and then you have them doing all this <clears throat> stuff on TV right in your face. Well, you know, this causes prostate cancer, and this causes herpes, and this causes uh, Alzheimer's, but it's going to be good for your blood pressure. <laughs> Well, what is that? I just don't even, that just don't even make any sense. Okay, so how about immigration? You think we have an immigration problem? The general assemblies are the only thing that's going to help. Term limits. What about all these junkies, these political junkies that stay in office their entire lives? How about that? How about licensing? Marriage license, driver's license, hunting license, fishing license. Birth certificates, death certificates. What is that? Because the, the soil, the land jurisdiction doesn't have any of that. So what is that? Some of it I can see it's worthwhile. I can see a conservation officer wanting to take care of the conservation. But if you're not harming anything and not causing injury, you know, where's it all go? Where's it at? All right, so I'm hoping that this gives you some kind of an idea of what the General Assembly can do, of the things that we can tackle, of the things that, that in general, none of this stuff will get fixed unless the General Assembly fixes it. And that means that you have to get your government up and running the way it's supposed to, the land jurisdiction. So this video is already gone too long. <clears throat> I can see my mouth sort of not keeping up with my words. <clears throat> so PennsylvaniaAssembly.org. That's www.PennsylvaniaAssembly.org. Put it up in the top of your computer. Go to the contact page. Contact me. I'll try to get you in contact with your state as soon as possible. Might take a few days. I can't <clears throat> can't say my my actual internet today's the tenth and my internet's down because um, I think the battery wore out on my MiFi. 
So I'm going to have to go and get it checked. Um, so I'm probably going to be without the internet for a few days. So those things happen. That's what I'm saying. Be patient. But we will get to you as fast as we can. And uh, with that, I hope that uh, you're joining your assembly and participating and having fun because this can be very fun. Um, it's going to be fun. The longer you go, the smarter you get, the more you understand. It's going to be fun. And uh, have a wonderful day.